Hello, all you beautiful Sagittarius. I hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you may be on this planet we reside in. Today's video is going to be your December 2018 reading and whatever messages Spirit would like me to relate to you guys. Keep in mind that readings are general, so messages may or may not resonate with you. If they don't, kick them to the curb because they're not for you. If they do, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my lovely Sagittarius? What messages do you have for my Sagittarius for December 2018? I'm probably going to end up taking those. Yeah, they're just going to take those. Ooh, court cards all the way around here. Mm-hmm. Okay. What other messages do you have from my Sagittarius? Please, Spirit. What other messages do you have from my Sagittarius for December 2018? Fair enough? Ooh, okay. And one last card, please, Spirit. One last card. Nope. Here, Minnie. What other messages do you have for my sash? One more card, please, Spirit. There we go. Okay. So we got King of Wands and Queen of Wands. I feel like this is you and your partner. If you're in a relationship, and even if you're not in a relationship right now, whoever you're connecting with, you guys are both very, very passionate people. Um, you know what you want. You know who you are. You go after what you want, and you don't give a flying hoot what anybody else thinks or says about you. This is a very, uh, I don't give a fuck vibe between you two. Like, you both are very, very comfortable in your skin. You're very, very comfortable with who you are as a person. Very passionate. And, yeah, you, do, you just don't give a flying fuck what nobody says about you. So that is a beautiful energy to be in. Very, very passionate energy. Now, with the Page of Swords, there is going to be some mental clarity about a situation. Um, whatever the situation may be, it is going to require one of you to have strength to endure it, um, whether this is a, a truth, um, communication about a truth, um, or just, you know, mental clarity on a situation that you guys are currently in. Whatever it may be, it's going to require one of you or both of you to have the strength to go through it. And then Ace of Cups is everything's going to be fine in the end. You guys are going to have new beginnings. You guys are going to be, um, you know, emotionally fine. Whatever happens, um, whatever mental clarity of the situation that's going on, it's going to be okay in the end. Everything is going to be fine in the end. So just roll with the punches, go with the flow, and in the end, everything's going to be all right. So let's get some clarifiers here. Spirit, why is the King of Wands here? Please clarify the King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here, Spirit? Why 
is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. So, whoever you're connecting with, this could be you as well. There is something that is keeping you up at night. Whether it be um, whatever truth this is that you want to communicate or whatever truth that this other person wants to communicate. One of you is, have, is up all night overthinking about, overthinking about this truth or what they want to communicate. Um, overthinking about how they want to go about telling you something and it's keeping them up, keeping them up at night, you know, having very restless nights here. But the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune... Um, this was supposed to happen. This is, um, basically what they're telling me is that this is a test for you guys to see, um, how you react and how you deal with it and whether or not this Ace of Cup hap happens. You know, we all have free will and free choice in how we deal and choose to deal with situations how we act in certain situations so what I'm really picking up is that this is a test for you both with this wheel of fortune here um, if the person you're connecting with has the truth coming out and they're they're the sleepless ones then it's gonna be you um, that the universe is testing to see how you react and respond to this truth um, and rules reversed if it's you that, you know, has the truth and is up all night overthinking about the situation, then it's them that is going to be tested to see how they act and deal with the situation. Spirit, why is this page of swords here? So the high priestess. So somebody, this has to do with something spiritual, maybe, um, what am I getting here? I might have to double clarify this. Somebody's going to have to use their intuition. Um, make sure that whoever is going to be communicating this truth is in a very high state of mind when they communicate it um so be sure you've meditated about it and cleared your head make sure you've gotten some sleep or if not at the very least you know you have meditated so that your your mental state is very clear and you know non-biased neutral you know you're in a very high state you're connected with your higher self when you communicate this truth or when they communicate this truth we're going to double clarify that actually why is the high priestess here spirit king or queen of wands again so this might be something that you're passionate about this this mental clarity uh, maybe you're wanting to start up a new business but you know finances aren't there so you're afraid to tell your your partner um maybe mm, okay interesting they just told me maybe you're <laughs> Maybe you're wanting to try um, some new sex positions, um, okay, <laughs> and you're kind of, or some, like maybe some dom and sub stuff, I don't know, um, but they just said, you know, getting a little adventurous in the sex life, and you're kind of af afraid to uh, tell your partner here. Um, either way, just do it. Just, you know relay whatever information that is on your mind it needs to be said and like I said it's a test and you know things are going to be okay in the end so just just go ahead and whatever it is tell your partner and if it's on their side they're going to end up telling you what it is anyways so why is the strength card here why is the strength card here 
And if it is uh, to do with the adventurous nightlife and bedroom life, then, you know, have strength. You know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try new things. It's all good. King of Swords. So yeah, this is just reiterating another truth, that th this truth that's coming in, and you're going to have to be strong when this truth comes in. You know, this is definitely something that you've thought very long and hard about. You know, it's been keeping you up at night with the Nine of Swords, so it's definitely something that has been on your mind for a while now, or on their mind for a while now. Just take what resonates here. And Ace of Cups and Clarified by Ten of Pentacles. You see, guys, look at this. Everything is going to be okay. Whatever truth this is, you guys are going to pass the test. It is going to be okay. You're going to have this Ten of Pentacles, the family. You're going to have the finances. You're going to have the new beginnings and love. You know, it's just... It's going to be okay. That That's what they're telling me. Everything is okay. So I'm going to get you guys an advice card. Whatever spirit would like you to know at this time it may or may not have anything to do with the reading. It's just what spirit would like to relay to you at this time. I'm going to shuffle this a couple times and then pick a card. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius for the month of December 2018? What messages do you have for my Sagittarius 2018 in December? Yeah, okay. So, you got Hex, Banishment. And what I'm really picking up with this is, you know, just banish your fears. Don't be afraid to open up to your partner. And, you know, vice versa. Neither one of you need to be afraid about opening up because, you know, you guys work well together. You guys love each other. There's a lot of passion here. And with the Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles clarifying, you know, things are going to be okay in the end. So just banish your fears. Get rid of those fears and, you know, just be open. But that is your December 2018 reading for all you lovely Sagittarius. Um, let me know if this resonated with you by giving me a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if this resonates. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would be much appreciated. Mwah. Much love to all you guys.